Wild horses are majestic animals and have been the symbol of freedom in the western frontier for many years. They've lived in freedom in their natural habitat in the past, which tended to be a wide open expanse of land and were usually respectfully left alone by humanity. It wasn't until people needed the land that the horses were living on that the horses started to be a problem. But that problem has led to a negative effect on horses that has progressively worsened over the years. You might think that wild horses are being dealt with in pleasant ways, but sadly the very opposite is true. For one, this seems like an extremely immoral thing to be happening. Horses are not just small pests that cause trouble. They're beautiful, intelligent creatures that have been honored by humans for generations. They're not common small animals and honestly should not be intervened with, but some people seem to think differently in this case. They should be roaming in their natural habitat, but this brings up the problem that people need to use that land for other purposes, like buildings or farming or raising different kinds of animals. With the horses on land that people want clear, land managers are forced to find something to do with the animals. You might be thinking they probably just move them to another piece of open land, but that's actually not at all close to the truth. The wild horses are corralled into pens that are not nearly large enough to even hold all of them, and from there they must be dealt with in another way. Most of these horses end up being put up for sale or adoption or, if nothing else works, probably even put to death. Even sale is a terrible fate. There was a story just reported not too long ago about the fate of over 2,000 horses sold to an untrustworthy man, and multiple years later, all of them were revealed to have turned up dead. Therefore, this is not a place from which they ever seem to be returned to their previous lives, unless they happen to be adopted by a kind owner. Another point that can be made on this case is that not enough effort in general is put into the protection of wild horses. One example of this is the means by which the horses are gathered to be moved. In most cases, the wild horses are herded in large numbers for miles and miles by helicopters, which keep close to their tails in order to force them to keep running. While this is effective in getting the animals to move, it can also severely harm some of them, as they can injure themselves in the process of fleeing the helicopter. These injuries result in severe pain for the rest of the long journey and even some deaths, as the horses could be injured so badly they can't go on. You might think the horses must go somewhere better after being led in the pens, and yes, once the horses get to the corrals that they'll be kept in for the next undetermined period of time, they might go, like I mentioned before, to be sold or adopted, but they could also simply be put to death in slaughterhouses or elsewhere if there are too many of them. Only a lucky few get to continue a happy life with an owner or another purpose, and even that small number is continuously dropping. Another point against the lack of care given to the safety of wild horses is that there are definitely ways of preventing how much the horses reproduce, like infertility treatment. This is a humane way to avoid overpopulation without slaughtering hundreds of horses at once. Experiments with controlled groups of horses have led to the discovery that this tactic does actually in fact work, and it avoids the problem of permanently corralling the animals. You might think that it would be expensive to do this, but it's actually much less than you than you would think, and much less than it would be to euthanize them, and also a lot more humane and morally sound. So basically, in conclusion, I believe that rather than killing all of these highly intelligent and useful animals, we should further work on finding ways to keep them under control in a more respectful and kind way. Don't just brush aside the fact that thousands of beautiful wild animals are being slaughtered just because we think we need their homeland more than they do. If you can, please spread the word about this issue and help bring up the adoption rate of captive horses that could possibly be sent to their tragic demise. Thank you, for thank you very much for listening.